King Charles has conferred the title of Duke of Edinburgh to Prince Edward, and this makes his 15-year-old son James the new Earl of Wessex. However, Meghan Markle's children have not received any royal titles. But why are Harry and Meghan's children being avoided? Is it related to the grudge that the royal family holds against their father and mother? Before he passed away in 2021, Prince Philip is alleged to have wanted Prince Edward to take on the title of Duke of Edinburgh and his son as the Viscount Severn and his wife Sophie as the Duchess of Edinburgh. The new appellation makes their 15-year-old son James, who has been styled as Viscount Severn since birth as the new Earl of Wessex. Edward received his Earl title when he and Sophie wed in 1999 and she has been known as the Countess of Wessex. However, the shift did not affect the title of Prince Edward and Sophie's 19-year-old daughter, Lady Louise. However, while announcing Edward as the new Duke of Edinburgh, Buckingham Palace specified the title will be held by Prince Edward for His Royal Highness's lifetime, and after, it will revert back to the crown. This means it won't go to his son, James. The position is said to be passed on someday onto one of Prince William's younger children, Princess Charlotte VII or Prince Louis IV at the time. The stipulation that the Dukedom of Edinburgh will go back to the crown aligns with King Charles's rumored vision for a slimmer modern monarchy. Prince Edward and Sophie are more down-to-earth kind of people. They opted not to use prince and princess titles for their children even though they were grandchildren of the monarch. In an interview, Sophie said, We try to bring them up with the understanding that they're very likely to have to work for a living. They decided not to use his, her royal highness titles for Louise and James. However, their children can decide to use them from 18 years of age, but it looks like they won't. The new Earl of Wessex is known to dislike the spotlight. Earlier this year, he made a public appearance as he stood by the Queen's coffin with the other eight royal grandchildren in an emotional visual to remember their grandmother. Prince Edward wouldn't become Duke of Edinburgh until after Prince Philip and the Queen had passed away. This was declared by the palace in 1999. According to the statement of the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh and the Prince of Wales have also decided that Prince Edward should be bestowed the Dukedom of Edinburgh in due course when the present title now held by Prince Philip finally reverts to the crown. On the day of his 59th birthday, when Buckingham Palace announced Edward's appointment to the position it said, the new Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh are happy to continue Prince Philip's legacy of supporting opportunities for young people of all backgrounds to attain their full potential. Charles received the Dukedom of Edinburgh upon Philip's passing in accordance with the letter and patent given by King George VI in 1947, but he never used it. After the death of the Queen, Charles ascended to the throne and because of the title merged with the crown, it could now be given to anyone. The royal upgrade follows another title change when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex started referring to their kids Archie and Lilibeth as Prince and Princess. However, no other titles have been conferred onto them. Meghan and Harry didn't want anything to do with the royal family, but now they want titles for their children. Because of this, they're being called hypocrites. Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor may be the seventh in line to the British monarch. Archie, however, will not be able to pass the title of prince or princess to his children as there will be another generation removed from the sovereign, but the title of Sussex will pass to Prince Harry's male line of descendants. Technically, when Archie was born, he could have used the title of Earl of Dumbarton as he is the great-grandson of the monarch in the male line and because his father, Prince Harry, had a duckle line. At the time, it was thought that Harry and Meghan had chosen to forego the title for their son, but in the interview with Oprah, Meghan claimed that it wasn't the case. She said that it was the institution of the monarchy that didn't want her and Harry's children to have a title which the couple learned when she was pregnant with Archie. She wanted Archie to have the title because it would give him security. What do you think of this? Why was the monarchy persistent on not giving Archie the title he deserves? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.